Toronto is going to be watched a little more closely. Starting April 30th, 15 cameras are planned to be installed around Toronto's highest crime communities. Eight cameras are planned to be installed right here in the Toronto's entertainment district. The other seven between Jane and Finch, Jane and York Weeds Gate, as well as Scarborough and Melbourne area. Closed circuit cameras are found in coffee shops, front door entrances, and even on Humber campus. The camera is a monitoring system that captures, collects, and records. Jeff McGuire, chair of the pilot project, is not sure if the cameras will prevent crime, but says through thorough investigation with his team at 51 Division, it's a step towards achieving crime. Staff Sergeant Mark Barkley has done a lot of research on this for us, and um, around the world, CCTV cameras have been used, and some places they make a difference, other places they don't. So the whole purpose of the pilot is just to see, will they help us here in Toronto? Ivan King says having cameras is good for communities, but prefers having yeah, someone patrolling the streets. But I like to see security themselves, because I know there's somebody there to help me. The cameras might be there, but then they don't really help me if something happens. You just they just watch them after. Pichak Prasha says having a system around Finch is a priority. Well, I think it's definitely a really good idea because the area that we live in, there's uh, a lot of crimes that are here, but that actually occur. So with having obviously the cameras around, you know, the ones that who gotta commit a crime, they're obviously gonna think twice. Gary Jaynes, director of public safety at Humber College, says circuit cameras work in deterring crime. They're there for a reason. I mean, there's a history. So. Uh, and I think it's not so much what we're worried about the bad guy. We're interested in what's, how it's serving the community and, and making the, the uh, uh, people living in the area feel safer. So I, I, I think it's a great idea. Although the Toronto police feel very confident with their chosen areas, Tough Commander thing. McGuire That's says there can be disadvantages um, just, in one, having cameras only in targeted often regions. Talked about is the displacement of crime. Sometimes if you throw cameras up in a particular area, um, certainly it's possible that that crime will just dissipate out into the neighboring communities. And we're very cognizant of that. And that's why the, the cameras are not anything that we're doing on their own. We're doing them in conjunction with policing. The cameras will be visible with posted signs, as well as the word police on the cameras. Although the province of Ontario provided $2 million in 2006 to fund the initial stages of the closed-circuit television, it will be only after the pilot project is completed in mid-2008 when the ministry at the province will decide if it's a good use of the city's money. For the GHB, I'm Katarzyna Valasek.